Hello everyone, I'm here today. Today we'll be looking at how to deploy React application to EC2 instance. For this class, you need to have a knowledge of Linux and GitHub. I have two separate videos for that, which I have linked in my description. Though it is not a requirement for this class, you can follow the class as well, but it's not a requirement, but it's a good thing that you understand these two um, programs. So let's jump right in into the demo. The first thing I'll be doing is to create an EC2 instance because we'll be using AWS. I will not really go deep into um, the process because I have done a video, a separate video on that. And you can check out um, my video on how to deploy um, a website on EC2 instance, which I have linked in my description below. So the server could be um, hosted anywhere. It could be Azure, it could be GCP, it could be DigitalOcean, any server provided you can SSH into the server. Now let me create um, EC2 instance. React. So I'm just typing the name. Then here I'll choose um, my operating system. So I'll be using Ubuntu as the operating system. So let's um, use um, 20 version 20. So this is a free tier eligible. So the instance um, and the operating system will be free. So let me select my key pair. So I have already created the, this key pair. If you don't have um, a key pair already, you can click on create new key pair to create a new key pair. So, and I think that's all for the configuration. So I click on launch instance. So, I scroll down and click on view instances so I already have one terminated here it's still on pending so before um, you can deploy to EC2 instance you need to have uploaded your your code to github so we, so I've already um, created my GitHub um, account and I also have uploaded my code here. So you can do that as well. So you can check out my video on how GitHub works. I have also linked the um, video in the description below. So you can see how to upload your code to GitHub. If you are not already familiar with that so I've already done that here let's check on our EC2 instance okay our instance is running now so if I click on it so I'll get the IP address so that I can SSH into the server so this is my terminal. So let me SSH into the server. So if you don't understand this, um, what I'm doing, kindly look at um, our Linux uh, class. I've also linked the video in the description. So now I want to SSH, I want to log in into the server. So you start with the keyword SSH hyphen I. So this I is to is to dictate the place the um the key is located. So this is the key and this is the username for our server. So if you are using Amazon Linux, then you need to use EC2 user. But I'm using Ubuntu, that's why I'm using this username. 
So this is the IP address, press enter. Then it asks me whether I want to add it permanently. I'll say yes. Now I am logged it into the instance. So let me clear everything. So the first thing I need to do is to update the operating system. And to do that, I will use sudo apt update. It has completed. Now the next thing I need to do is to install node and npm node.js and npm so in order to do that i already have the code on my github so look at the code here so i've already done this so let's copy this one Let's copy the key. Done. Now, this is the version, right? So I want to use 18. You can use 20 as well, but my code requires to for me to use 18. Then after that, I need to update the operating system again. Then I can now install Node.js and npm. It is done so in order to check if it has really installed you use node hyphen v you can see i installed version 18 then npm hyphen v so npm is uh, 9.67 <laughs> so the next thing i need to do is to clone the application in order to do that I will go to here and copy my URL. Then I will check if Git exists on the server. So to check that, I will just type Git, press enter. So this means that Git already exists on the server. So I can now clone my code. So in order to do that, I will type Git clone. So my, my application has been cloned on the server. So, you, so if I type ls, you can see I have a new um, folder here, which contains my code. Let me see the into the folder. I have all these codes on my GitHub. So you can check out my GitHub, um, GitHub repo if you need the code so if i say ls so you can see all the um files inside the new react app so the next thing i need to do is to install packages in order to do that i'll type npm install so it's installing So the installation has completed. Then the next thing I need to do is to build the application. So in order to do that, I'll say npm run build.
now it has completed so the next thing i need to do is to install nginx in order to do that i will say sudo apt install nginx i don't know why that's completed so the next thing is to move my build folder so if i say ls you can see the build folder here now let me see um, the list of all the things inside that folder you can see all the files inside the build folder so now I will move these um, files, I will uh, copy these files inside Nginx HTML folder. So let me see what is inside the Nginx HTML folder. So to do that, I'll say ls l large bar. So you can see I have a uh, index this, right? So let me go and check this um, for let me check the this file on the browser. Now I'll just copy the um, the IP address. Go here, paste it. So this is not working because I have not opened the ports. So let me open the ports, go back. Then go to security, click here. Then add rules. So I'll type HTTP here. So from everywhere. Save your. Now if I go back, so you can see. So this, um, this file is what is showing this content but i don't need it so i need to remove it i need to delete it in order to do that i'll say sudo rm so, so i've deleted the file so if i want to check if it exists still existing i will Type this, you can see total number of files in this folder is zero. So that means nothing is existing in this folder. Now let me copy uh, my build files into this um, folder. So to do that, I'll say sudo iPhone uh, R. So, so this time means everything inside this build folder. Copy everything inside this build folder. So now, let's see. So I've copied it. So let me check if it's in the folder right now. So you can see, let me check that. So you can see that the folder is existing inside this HTML folder. Now let's go and check if our React app has been deployed. So I'll go and check in the folder. So let me refresh this page. Yeah, so our React app is deployed. So it's as simple as that. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video this will be a source of encouragement for our team and also it will help youtube algorithm to show other people the video so that they can learn thank you bye